welcome everyone it's so nice to have you here let's get started with this collective reading which is for all the people who are in the inner work journey twin flame star seeds light workers and along with the volunteering vessels we have the benevolent supportive friendly entities from various frequencies and dimensions you all are beautiful children of god and everybody is here to raise the vibration of this planet please mark your attendance for this collective reading and claim the i am present and the gratitude energy and please do share your location as well we are going to jump into it dive deep into this and the message today about people who are facing humiliation they have been facing humiliation uh, from those around them and this has been like uh, around them for a long time. They're also being portrayed as somebody who doesn't know anything, who lacks discipline, who's irresponsible, who's not a good person. Like it started from childhood, of course, and then it gradually moved into adulthood. But now that you are somebody who is doing inner work, you don't want to feel useless or you don't want to be talked about this way in front of other people's like relatives or family friends or you know somebody else like some neighbors maybe and maybe it has been uh, either brought to you to your notice by some other people maybe someone else walked up to you and told you you know what i heard this about you or else you are facing it yourself you're seeing it yourself you go to a get together everybody is over there and suddenly they start talking about you as if you are the black sheep of the family and those who are talking about you this way are your own people and you don't like that anymore there was a time you were okay with it like not really okay okay but you were like okay let them do it it's fine they love me they are my people but now you feel that you don't deserve to be treated this way you're doing well those who I'm talking about, you have got a better, you know, root chakra. Your foundation is strong. You could be earning money for yourself or you could be in a good position. And I'm telling you, this might not have also happened uh, that easily. Even to get stability in your work, in your professional life, whether it's business or, you know, you have a job, it has taken time because you have taken a lot of time to understand who you are. The more you understand who you are, the less you need unnecessary people around you you are not codependent you are not wanting to be codependent if you are codependent on anything you you realize that this is not something i need to do i need to be this way i don't have to be this way you know and you have also worked a lot on your addiction pattern so whosoever i'm talking about well this may or may not resonate a hundred percent for you but if you are attracted to it if you're vibrationally attracted to this channeling then definitely it's not a coincidence that you're here something i intend something or the other something or maybe more or the whole channeling should be a takeaway a beautiful takeaway for you so let's see what taro has to tell me and tell you i would be using auto reading auto writing and tar plus of course the intuitive reading is always there so we have the page of cups Hmm. In this context, here the Page of Cups is telling me, first of all, I see a new confidence. Now, those who are attracted to this reading, there are a couple of types, you know, there are categories. One, you're here for validation and acknowledgement because you have been going through some situation. You probably had a argument or a fight or it was some kind of negative situation where you felt very targeted. You took a stand for yourself. You spoke for yourself. You maybe got supported also by some other people, some very strong personality, some strong person around you supported you because they could also see over a period of time that you are going through something. And now that you are supporting yourself, now that you take a stand for yourself, even those who can sense that you've been fighting a long battle or a difficult battle, they also want to take a stand for you. Maybe behind the scenes they have already taken a stand for you and you might not even be aware about it. New ideas are coming to you, new opportunities are coming to you because of your energy. And you are creative and imaginative, however, you should be a bit careful before executing any idea. That's like the advice that has been given. Maybe in the past you feel that some people stole your ideas, some people 
stabbed you in the back you did a lot of work they did not give you the credit so now you are kind of discreet or you don't know like whether you should share it or not maybe you work very hard but the one who stole your ideas they took away the appreciation and also you realize that you enjoy the process a lot more than the result of it or the uh, you know like the award or reward or what is going to happen it may not be something that will be given rewards you're thinking in your head maybe i don't get awarded for it maybe i even get criticized for it so what i want to do it so you're trying to keep things a bit of a secret and you don't want to talk about your life because you've realized that sometimes you've overshared or if not overshared you shared it with the wrong people you talked about your feelings with the wrong people or you talked about your projects with the wrong person and after that you felt a bit drained so you want to keep things to yourself i do see a rise in intuition i do see a rise in possibilities as i said creative opportunities are there um mm, uh, cancer scorpio pisces some of you could relate with it water signs could relate with it but there is strong solar energy so sun energy is strong in this uh, card as well as the intuitive energy that i pick up the reading that i pick up from this one now why this is important to understand is because when you are doing all of these lovely creative things when you are working on yourself you are getting a raise in your job or you are getting promoted or something that was stuck for you some very beautiful idea or project or maybe a money making business anything you know was stuck started working again after a lot of hard work you waited a lot you worked hard a lot you slogged a lot finally it started giving the results that you wanted it to give but you have all of these negative energies or people who are always criticizing you people who are always saying things to you on your face or behind your back and you can pick on to those energies you feel like what is this are these my own people or are these my enemies like do i even need enemies in the outside world if i have these people around me so those kind of questions you're asking and you don't want to be in that space like you don't want to hate these people because you genuinely love them but you also don't want to get bogged down by them you can get into personal sessions and therapies with me all the details are given in the description box one request is that in case you want to get into a reading session the tarot reading session where you have questions to us then kindly do not share anything about your life or your situations in advance there are some steps that we have to follow and i'll let you know what they are once the reading is booked if you are wanting to work on yourself then number one that desire that urge has to be very strong otherwise you may not be able to make the most of therapy or you have to be very careful because every time a person gets into therapy they've made up their mind to remove those demonic entities and energy that keeps putting them down not allowing them to step up they're going to try a lot that you don't do your inner work if your demons are strong then you have to be stronger than your demons and for that you need to be like i'm going to do my inner work to observe what these areas are and then to give my best at it hmm so once again uh, something similar this is connected with the heart and i feel that you put in a lot of hard work this is for the next category so we have one category where there is a lot of stuff going on but you're on the right path for sure you're on the right path just don't overshare because you feel that the people you've overshared with or shared with i think oversharing maybe you just wanted to share maybe you were just doing your being yourself doing your thing but they see it as oversharing or they make it look like oversharing so don't share and just do your work secretly and i think you also feel very strongly that you have been very positive very uplifting very motivating you've been very loving and kind towards certain type of people but uh, they just use you for certain things you know they are not doing it with you or doing it for you because they love you but because it looks good whatever you do in their life also so they do it the second category is where you have been doing a lot of hard work you're dedicated you're very detail oriented and uh, you've been feeling that you are going unnoticed like your work is not noticed you are not noticed 
you are not doing it for attention seeking purposes but whatever your goal has been your you know job has been or your this has been bothering you but now that you are doing inner work now that you are more aware about your feelings you are more into the observation mode you have also started realizing that this is just how the world makes you feel like the world programs you to seek validation and to seek that attention and appreciation like someone has to walk up to you and tell you that you know what i really like your work you're doing a good job and okay great great you know let's give you a raise and not just in professional circle but even at home you know somebody should come up to you and say something to you somebody should sort of appreciate you uh admire you give you some kind of uh, honor or respect maybe in front of others so you're going to get that also because now you're not that fixated into it you are okay with who you are whether you get appreciated or you don't get appreciated whether you get loved or you don't get loved the heart chakra is definitely connected to sacral chakra in a very unique way i mean the energies that flow from one chakra to another is very unique if you actually learn it or you study it and then how they all help each other and then how they have individual energy it's a disk of energy that's rotating and how the whole system is interconnected in a very unique very unique style nature is definitely wonderful i mean physical anatomy is one thing but the energetic anatomy is also mind blowing so as your sacral chakra improves your confidence improves as your sacral chakra improves your insecurities go away you are more aware of your own flaws or your own patterns you are good with other people's patterns but now you are also good with your own patterns which pattern needs to go away which pattern needs to stay so you are also improving in teamwork collaboration and you are going away from people who create disharmony in your life people who put you in uh take you away from alignment like you get aligned and then there is this environment that you're into and as soon as you step into that environment some word some statement some unnecessary piece of advice some criticism something happens and then you started questioning should i even get affected by these people or these words in some places in some context you just laugh it off but in some context context you don't take it you just don't take it even if it's to create a fuss over there even if it's to create a scene you are okay to create the scene but you don't want to take it anymore you don't want to go into that state anymore which is why your attention to detail will not go unnoticed because you have become that particular where to speak where not to speak where to take where not to take where to smile where not to smile i mean this is this is what we are all here to do we are here to act accordingly in a certain given context and every context is not the same every situation is not the same every person is not the same to some people you have to be really sweet to some people you just cannot be sweet because if you're going to be sweet to them they're going to take you for granted yeah so whosoever has been humiliating you third category i'll talk about now and then all of you have a sort of linear progression and a non linear progression also so you all can be in all of these stages it's a timeless reading so you can check it out 6 months later 7 months later and you'll feel differently each time you listen to it they cannot humiliate you anymore because you cannot get humiliated by anyone there are some people who we call kill joys they just love to spoil everybody's mood they just love to be cranky they love to complain they want to be pampered all the time they keep focusing on negativity all the time and you can see it in their health they have health problems they'll have bodily basic bodily functions will never be okay you will see them eating really bad food you will see them in very bad routine you will see them consuming junk all the time they have lot of junk dna because of that so what we eat is also how we are someone who likes to 
spoil the pleasures of other people spoil sport can also be a word that we can use but it's not that close it's okay okay close 20 30% some people are like that party poopers but here we are not even talking about the parties we are talking about just a happy situation a normal situation even in that normal situation all you try to do is just be yourself and as soon as they see you are happy as soon as they see you are relaxed as soon as they see you are living in your natural frequency or vibration they just lose the plot so they start humiliating you because humiliation is the only way they can take your joy away they can kill your joy so these kill joys around you have humiliated you or they have troubled you or they've pulled you down but they cannot do it any more to you you're so strong inside you're connected you're surrendered to source that no matter what happens in your life you are going to see it all as a gift you have decided this and you've started practicing it of course in between those dreadful thoughts come to you fear what is fear false evidence appearing real that's the full form so it's all false false imagination false assumption your mind is telling you that your life is over or you cannot do anything if you don't get this done that's the fear but when you're in that situation there are two ways to deal you're crying cribbing scared in any which way there is no other option i mean whenever we are scared we are scared because we have only one option left most of the times that's when people are scared when they either don't have an option or they have just one option left so they are scared so now you're like look this is all i got this is my truth this is my reality what is the worst that can happen in this situation what is the worst outcome okay this is the worst outcome this is what my mind is telling me this is the fear my mind is putting me into right okay great now what is the solution of this or how can i make it all right or how can i fix this situation in my given options or in my given reality this is the way an aware and awakened person thinks because your problems are not real you can become a contributor of this channel by becoming my patreon and then every month support this content or you can do it via the scan code or the paypal link or the super thanks button you can use that also all of the humiliation they give to you is also a problem when you are surrendered to source whether someone humiliates you disrespects you whether someone tortures you troubles you whether someone is mean to you or they do not recognize your gifts or they just pull you down every time they are around you every time they see you happy or they have some unnecessary advice to give you when you are not even asking for help or advice whatever it is we are not gonna stick to only one thing there can be 1000 things like that floating around but you don't see it as a bad thing and such people know the perfect reaction or response to give to others this is not something you're giving to yourself you know you read people's energy so much better now and i'm talking about all the people who are doing inner work this is for inner work this is for people who have been into inner work for a while now and they have gone through the separation phase they've been in rana chaser dynamic they are in the surrendering process either they are surrendering they are learning surrendering either they are in the initial stages because in the initial stage also we know that there are certain things that we cannot fix there is no way that we can control that situation i mean it is what it is so what's the best thing to do is to let go to let it all go so when we treat whatever god is giving us as a gift in hindi we have a very nice word for it it's called prasad prasad is the sweet meal they create like this is little bit of prasad they give to everyone who goes to the temple when we get the prasad we are like wow this is a divine gift so we eat it joyfully similarly everything is a gift everything is a prasad of god my master also teaches us to do the same thing that we should treat all of our problems like it's a gift because source's nature is not to punish us source never punishes us we just have to have so much trust ultimate trust we need to have and that comes from practice and whosoever i'm channeling has been practicing this they've lived in solitude they've lived by themselves they've lived with a huge group of people they've had many friends at one time they've been to multiple parties they've been a very likable person very lovable person 
people like to keep you around you know because you're entertaining and you're funny and all that but when you go into a bad mood then you're going to harm your own self because those people who want to enjoy in your company they want to take money from you or you're literally taking care of them you know you're like the uh, person who pays all the bills and they all chill on your bills uh, you have decided that you don't need to be around any toxic friend family member relative but then some people are always around so how do we deal with them we just surrender in the initial stage of surrender we learn to let go of the big things because at that time the big things are more evident as soon as that phase goes away we have subtle things now we need to build in more and more faith more and more faith and we have to practice faith every day every day every day every day this will take us to the ultimate surrender the path of ultimate surrender then first we walk on the path and then we go into ultimate surrender we don't have any questions whatsoever on what god is doing because most of the times people usually blame things on god we don't thank god when everything is fine you know we forget god at that point in time but we are always upset with god so we all remember god in adversity and none in prosperity but if we remember god in prosperity there will not be any adversity and this is the lesson that you have learned they cannot humiliate you because you are always in prosperity you are okay with everything no matter what they say to you you don't care you don't give a rats ass so whatever is happening to you is good whatever is happening to you is fine whatever is happening to you whatever the humans are doing or natural forces are doing or destiny is doing it's all good the other day in my master's discourse he shared a very very interesting story about a couple who lived in a village they had a beautiful house and they had a horse they had a dog they had a parrot in the house and they all lived like a family they did not have any children no biological children so they considered these three animals as their best companions one fine day the horse fell sick suddenly and passed away and the uh, lady of the house was very sad because they loved the horse a lot and she cried a lot and she was really upset and she was saying that why would god do this to us this animal was like a child it was like a family member and you know it it was also a sign of prosperity in villages even in mountain areas to have a horse is a sign of prosperity and this is an old story so the husband was like hardcore ultimate believer of god always in surrender state mostly the husband told her that you know don't be sad i'm sure something good will happen out of this also and maybe it's it's his time to go it's all written he says to her it's all written we are also going to die one day so maybe it's time to go time to leave the planet give him a good farewell don't be sad be happy for him pray for him pray to god that he gets a better birth and he was an animal maybe he gets to be a beautiful human being next time or he straight away goes to god so she's like relaxed a bit so 2 3 days pass by and suddenly the parrot also flies away the parrot is gone in villages they have simple people they have simple lifestyle so the hens or the parrots they act like alarm clocks also sometimes they wake their people up and they know okay now it's 4 o'clock the hen or the cock is speaking now and okay now we need to get up or the parrot because the parrot can speak like humans parrot will say its own things so there was a connection they had with the parrot also and the parrot never used to go anywhere never used to leave them but that day the parrot also left maybe parrot was close to the horse and after the horse left the parrot felt like you know i don't have anything left to do here no business so i'll also fly away and the wife was really sad she uh, was feeling bad the husband was also feeling bad the husband told her that look it's a free bird we never tied the bird we never caged the bird the bird was here as per her own wish and will and now the bird wanted to go so the bird left and uh, again this is this was written this had to happen and let's just 
do ultimate surrender let's just be thankful to god any which way and believe that something positive is only going to happen because god never punishes us we human beings think that god punishes us but god doesn't punish anybody god is full of love and god is full of grace and whatever situations we have to face where we feel we are getting punished we feel something wrong is happening to us there has to be a lesson in it there has to be a churning in it there has to be something that comes out of it this is something which even i have seen many a times i felt that this is a bad situation this is a horrible situation why would i be in this situation why am i so unlucky and after few years or after few months in some cases just a few days later some cases even day later i realized that this has actually helped me out and i have gained something from it and i've gained something which is going to be with me till eternity because it's a soul lesson the lesson makes you more independent the lesson makes you happy and relaxed and peaceful and so many things that you cannot see otherwise with all the materialistic things even the non materialistic things or the materialistic thing that god gives us it's all for our good if we don't have something it's best we don't have it that's how we should think so now the bird is gone the horse is gone they have the dog and all three of them are somehow managing two more days pass by and the dog eats something and the dog is also dead now the wife is so upset she's very close to the dog all of the animals she was very close to she's an animal lover of course that's why she has a parrot and a horse and a dog so she cannot take it anymore she's in tears and she's crying a lot how can this happen to us we are facing so many misfortunes and look everybody's life is normal everybody's happy you know they're farming they're chilling they're growing veggies and they're living their normal life all of them have their animals healthy intact look at us why we are facing this why your god is making us go through this now by this time the husband is also a bit shaken up he's also a bit scared and he's also feeling bad you know and of course he was very connected with the animals and he also treated them like family members and he's feeling very bad so in that situation he goes and has a conversation with god he says god i really trust you i believe in you i know you are never going to put me in any bad situation whatever looks bad to me right now this is going to be for my good only that kind of ultimate faith he has now god is in everybody's life in my life in your life in their life everybody's life but not everyone has that faith or that trust or that kind of believe in god for some people it's a mistaken thing you know like they do it it's a fluke they do it on and off but it's not totally uh total surrender sort of situation is not there you are not making any mistakes with god maybe your actions your life your behavior even when you were totally programmed even when you were in the limbo state you were still very much connected to god there was some beautiful divine energy with you always protecting you taking care of you hovering around you you always felt it now this man is saying to god god i believe you i trust you please take care of us i don't know what's happening because these things are sad you know and uh, i will still believe in you he says to god that i have no doubt in your doing whatever you're doing is for the best i know that please make me strong please make me strong because i'm feeling a bit emotional right now looking at my wife and i'm thinking about those animals and i'm going through a tough time so god please make me strong make my faith strongest right now this is the time i need to be strongest i don't want to say a single thing against you or against myself because every time we are cursing god we also curse ourselves we don't know it because god is inside of us we all have god energy we are made from the same speck of light that source is made from so of course we are like the source we are 100% like the source because we have the same dna if you have an apple you cut the apple into six parts or 10 parts or 20 parts 20 pieces that does not change it from being a complete apple because every apple has that dna this is how the really advanced scientists can create anything even if they have just a dot of the dna information and this is going to be the future of this world so he says that i am going to feel strong and he feels strongest okay he cries a bit and then he is relieved and relaxed and lo and behold the next night in the night the decoys come 
because in the mountains you have decoys the decoys come and they are very dangerous they are very greedy they are very inhuman they don't care about anybody's life or anybody's money and they loot and plunder that's their job the decoys so now the decoys are in the village they also steal the animals many decoys take away the animals because in those parts of the world and this is an old story as i said the animals were expensive and the animals were really helpful also if the decoys have horses they'll never have a problem you know running around or looting people or stealing from people if they have enough of cows they'll always have milk and enough of whatever they want to collect stuff steal stuff so they basically plunder the whole village and they also kill a lot of people because anybody who was resisting anybody who was making noise or crying or making their job difficult they just kill those people finally they come to this house also but when they reach this house they don't see any activity first of all there's no animal there are no cows or horses or anything and there is no noise it's like completely shut and very peaceful and there's nothing you know nothing coming from there no dog is barking had the dog been alive the dog would have barked so they say hey there's nothing here let's move ahead and they leave from there they don't even enter the house they don't even look into the house because two people are living in the house you know they are not making any noise they sleep they don't even know that these people have come in the night because they were in deep sleep so next morning they get up and obviously they get to know people are crying and there's fire everywhere so many houses are burned down so many people are dead so many people are killed so much has happened whatever people had it has all gone somebody has lost so many family members and they then realize that god actually protected them and those animals actually sacrificed for them in a way i mean the bird did not die the bird just flew away maybe the bird had an intuition the bird just knew that i must leave from here otherwise i'm going to put their life in danger i i cannot stop myself from speaking or talking you know so she just left probably such a smart bird would also come back but they looked at all the other people and then they looked at themselves they were scratchless nothing from their house no produce because in the villages it's also the food they grow is very important so they store all the grains in all villages in my grandmother's village also they had beautiful mud house they still have it they had huge big storage tanks you know which they make from mud only big ones and they have all of the food the pulses the rice the farmers don't always grow produce for the current year or the coming year they have enough even if there is some kind of situation like it used to happen back in those days they would have a drought or something they would still have food for 2 3 years and in some parts of the world even now droughts come for a really long time so the farmers had enough but if a decoy comes and takes away everything the farmers are not left with anything whatsoever they have to grow it all over again and the decoys are heartless they say yeah let them grow it we don't give a shit they can do it so this is a story of faith how god was trying to protect the devotees because they were devotees of god now the reason why a lot of people cannot trust others or they cannot trust any situation they live with lot of suspicion lot of angst is because they lack the inner trust the inner trust is the same kind of trust to believe that everything that's happening is good and any which way it's a temporary life okay any which way what is the worst that can happen really i mean other than death once you're dead you're dead until you are alive it's all fine that's how you should think that's how we all should think and even if we die we should not forget that this is the norm of this world so the person who trust god source their masters they build a strong inner energetic system also and they become very independent they no longer rely or depend on what's outside and they also don't question the things that have happened because mostly people who live in distrust they are also going to question everything and they're going to feel guilty which is why the sacral chakra gets blocked the sacral chakra is connected with guilt it's connected with the uh, shame so if you heal guilt and shame which also happens when you accept everything that has happened in the past like this is exactly how it was meant to happen this was for my best this was for my best learning for my growth for my progress so you feel like that and you let it all go that's why sometimes we have flaws we have addictions we have bad routine we have uh, lots of issues and god 
heals us and god also makes us godly god relieves us from all of those vices so whosoever i'm channeling today number 1 they are learning to face their fears it's false evidence appearing real they're going to stand up in the face of fear in the face of fear and just be like all right hello there how are you what happened you have a message for me you know and of course they accept who they are and they also look at the people who humiliate them they know what to do with them sometimes they just want to ignore those people and be like yeah whatever i don't care and sometimes they're just going to stop and tell them that look just mind your own business if you're in a bad mood keep it to yourself you know don't give it to me don't pass it around or don't pass it to others they know what to say sometimes they'll just smile at them sometimes they'll just laugh at them this is a great quality a very important quality it doesn't come to everyone it comes to few gifted souls few divine souls and if you're a part of this if you've heard till here and if you've understood till here if it all resonates to you then of course you are that divine soul you can get my book in the name of love a journey of finding your ultimate soulmate the book is written due to divine and spiritual intervention and all of the work that i'm doing everything all the readings all the credit goes to masters and source i'm just a medium they are the doers thank you to all of the subscribers and all of the viewers of this channel and i'm so grateful to god that you exist and you're doing all of your inner work i will see you in the next video one love peace out and victory to ram